During his groundbreaking computer software career, Paul Allen was affectionately known as the other guy at Microsoft. Overnight, his one-time partner, Bill Gates, said he was heartbroken by the passing of one of my oldest and dearest friends, adding personal computing would not have existed without him. In the early 80s, the two men created the operating system that was the precursor to Windows, helping to usher in the modern personal computing era. But Allen would retire from Microsoft when he was just 30 years old after his first cancer diagnosis. Years later, he would write, To face your mortality really makes you feel like you should do some of the things that you haven't done yet. And the man worth more than $20 billion did just that, living the kind of life most people only dream about. An avid sports fan, he became the owner of two professional sports franchises, the Portland Trailblazers and the Seattle Seahawks, who won the Super Bowl in 2014. Those games are kind of burned in my mind. He was also passionate about music, playing guitar with rock stars like Eric Clapton and Joe Walsh. Allen collected vintage planes, priceless works of art, and was known for hosting legendary parties on his mega yacht, the Octopus, which had its own submarine. He also pushed the boundaries of exploration in the air, building the world's largest airplane, as well as the depths of the ocean with his deep water research vessel, the Petrel. Just last year, his crew discovered the wreckage of the USS Indianapolis, which was sunk by a Japanese sub during World War II. We try to do these both um, as, as really exciting examples of uh, underwater archaeology and, and as tributes to the, the brave men that went down on these ships. But Allen will also be remembered for his philanthropy, donating billions to charitable causes. His investment company, Vulcan, said millions were touched by his generosity. On Allen's Twitter account, a final tweet perhaps summarizing his remarkable life. As long as we work together with both urgency and determination, there are no limits to what we can achieve. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News. Interesting. As a young man saying he had faced his mortality, it certainly sounds like yeah. he made a wonderful life. The quintessential renaissance man, wow. too.